HDTV in association with Absolute Warehouse Services, delighted to be joined by Colin Quanner today. Colin, it's great to see you back, mate. Thanks for joining us today. Thank Lots happened probably since we last spoke on, on camera to you and at the club as well. But first things first, how was your summer? Did you have a good time? Yeah, really good. Um, I've been, uh, I've did, did something something different a little bit this year, and I went on uh, safari in East Africa with two of my best mates. So really had a good summer. Really had the opportunity to to get away a bit, uh, get fresh legs and head, and it was really good. And I think that's been important for everyone, actually, after the season we had at Huddersfield Town. Obviously, you were here for half of it, then you had a, a spell, your first spell away, really, since you joined us uh, at Ipswich Town. Give us an idea of what that were like. It's a really difficult season in the end for Ipswich as well, but I suppose you got playing time in the Championship. That's a good thing. Yeah, exactly. Like you said, it was uh, as well uh, already when I came, uh, I think, a really difficult situation for the club. Uh, not an easy situation, um, but I think uh, you could really see that we and the team, we tried our best. Uh, unfortunately, we won't manage to stay in the league, but uh, for me personally, it was a really good step, I must say, because I got back to playing, I got back to uh, yeah, being on the pitch, uh, was able to score some goals, some assists, and so I think all in all, it was quite positive for me. And playing as a striker as well, which is worthy of mention, because most recently you've been playing as a, as a wide player in, in Huddersfield Town, so did you have to get your head around that again, get used to what the different roles in the team? Yeah, definitely. I mean, uh, it's something completely different if you play uh, as a striker on number nine, but um, in general, this is my position. This is where I like to play. This is at the beginning uh, when I came to, to Huddersfield where I used to play. And uh, obviously, like you said, things changed, but, but, which wasn't a problem for me. But now I'm happy to be back playing as a striker. Mm. And obviously, as you said, you've come back to Huddersfield Town now. And compared to when you left, a lot has changed here. So different head coach, David Wagner's left. Jan Zivert's come in. Uh, different league, unfortunately, we're, we're back in the Skybet Championship, which is an exciting challenge in itself. So, in, in many ways, is this, is this a bit of a fresh start for you and, and perhaps for some of the other players as well? Yeah, probably. I mean, uh, I think it's, uh, especially in football, there's always changes, uh, things always develop, things always change. And um, I can see now, uh, I have just recently uh, seen that there's a new pitch next to the training ground. And uh, no, but in general, I think, of course, I mean, uh, like we said, it's been, uh, I think, also a long, long season for, for everyone here at the club. And so I think it was quite good for everyone to have a, a good and long off season. And now I think it's, uh, it's good to, to make a fresh new start. You've had your first week of training under Jan Zivert now from the start of the week to the much sunnier end of the week as well. How's that been? I don't think I've met one single footballer that enjoys pre-season yet in 14 years, but how's it been for you this week? No, but uh, to be fair, it's, uh, it's been quite good. Um, I mean, we are doing everything on the pitch and everything is uh, football specific, which is, I think, the best thing that can happen for a football player. So um, you do everything with the ball, so which I think will prepare us uh, the best for the things uh, that, are, that are going to wait for us on the pitch. So it's been quite good. I think we had a good week, I can say. And even though there has been a lot of changes, still a lot of familiar faces in the squad. A lot of your friends are still here. A few new faces as well. Tommy Elphick, Reese Brown, Josh Caroma. How are they settling in in the group? Um, I think, in, in my opinion, uh, um, like for the, for the first week, I think really well. Um, what, doesn't, what hasn't changed, I, I, I must say, is the way uh, we as a club, as a team, uh, uh, make it easy for new players to settle in. So uh, this is quite a good thing because we know, as we've always been, uh, we have to be strong together. So we're trying to make it as easy for every new player as possible, as quick as possible to help them on and off the pitch. And this is, I think, what we are doing quite well. So um, I think they're settling quite well. And we talked about changing head coach is a, is a big deal for any player. What's Jan said to you since you've come back into the building? Because obviously he's a new face to you entirely. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, I've got to uh, meet him now, uh, I think, uh, personally. And um, we haven't like uh, spoken, especially now, uh, like face to face. Uh, it's just normal, like we are in pre-season now and like he treats me like every other player as part of the team. And so and we'll see um, how everything develops from then. Do you have any specific goals in your mind for this season, Colin? Um, I must say, for me personally, um, if I remember, it's been uh, when I came here, I was playing in the Championship half a year and then we got promoted to the Premier League. And now uh, I played uh, half a year in the Premier League and then I went to Ipswich. Uh, so I again had just half a year in the Championship. And I think my goal now is to really just um, um, make my games constantly like for a whole season in the championship because I mean the Premier League is the best uh, world but I think you can say that the championship is the hardest <laughs> league in the world so I think just physically and mentally it's something really different to play one whole year in the championship so I think this will be my goal and the biggest challenge. 
Mm, definitely. I, I think one of the things that's notable to us as well on the on the club account side of things is that since the fans have seen you back in training and, and you know seen you around the place again, it's been a really positive reaction. I know you're on social media too. I'm sure you see this too. It must be nice though, Colin. You know, yeah, I mean, yeah. you played such an important role in that promotion season in particular and keeping us up the first year. The fans don't forget these things, but it must be a nice little pick me up for you. Yeah, it? definitely. I mean, uh, I really appreciate it, and it's really nice. Uh, to notice and to feel that the fans don't forget it and that they also really appreciate you so and and then especially for me personally I'm always like everyone knows a happy person I like to laugh and so it's for me it feels really good to be back here and also have the appreciation of the fans and I think seeing smiling faces around seeing people laughing you everyone else is probably one of the most important things here we all know that as a fan as a player it was a hard season last year it's important just to get back enjoying football and get back to winning ways, isn't it? That's got to be the focus right now. Yeah, exactly. I think, uh, I mean, I think this will probably be one of the most important things is our mindset and to, because especially, like I said, in the championship, there's one game coming after the other. So there's not a lot of time to, to think about what happened and you can just uh, look forward and go on to the next one and keep your positivity and keep your mindset and your belief and then... I think we are going a good way. You get the impression you're happy to be here still, Colin. Does it feel like home still? You know, you've had that little spell away now. Do you, do you feel right at home when you've come back? Yeah, I mean, it, it's for me, it hasn't really been really a long time. So I don't really think, uh, it doesn't feel like I've been away for a long time. It's just been a few months. And like you said, a few things, the things change, but also a lot of things are still the same. The faces, uh, are still, most of the faces are still the same. So I'm yeah, like, I feel comfortable being back here. So another week, two weeks of pre-season training. How much are you looking forward to actually getting back on the pitch in a, in a playing capacity, albeit in a pre-season friendly? Austria is coming up pretty quickly. Yeah, yeah. I mean, at the end, uh, yeah, that's, that's what it's all about. Um, at the end, we want to play games. We want to enjoy the game. And um, I mean, it's uh, good because also our bodies have to get used to, to it again, being out there on the pitch. But uh, I think everyone is looking forward to the games. Yeah. Excellent. We're looking forward to seeing you back out there, Colin. Thanks for Thank you. Yeah, thank you. <laughs>